Well, hey, DK leaders, I've got week three of Bake Off that I wanted to go over with you super quick. It's all about Esau and Jacob, and this week specifically, we're going to be using the so-and-so show to teach the lesson. So this is a great way to reinforce um, just that Bible story of Esau and Jacob and what really happened there. And it brings it to a real-world perspective because we've got six cards, and we call them Esau's and Patience cards. But basically what these cards do is they list different ages and different times and ways that Esau might have gone ahead and given up what would technically be his birthright or something comparable. So for instance, this is a card that says Esau at age five, and it says that Esau trades his priceless collection of action figure toys handed down from his grandpa all for a giant lollipop that a kid that was on the bus had in his hand. And so really what we'll be able to do is teach these six stories and have fun with it. Have your kids tell it. Maybe they name the kid on the bus and, and that and really make it practical for these kids to understand. And that's all you're doing is you're, you're giving a real world context to the, what we're talking about. And our main point for that whole entire week is this, if you don't wait, it could cost you. So. Give an example of maybe something that's cost you before in the past when you didn't wait. Or go ahead and talk about that point and how it relates to these stories. For instance, when Esau was five, that's the card that we just read, it cost him so much. It probably hurt his grandpa's heart that he gave away his action figures. And really, it didn't gain him much. So that's an example of something that cost him. It should be a super simple lesson, but something super practical. Don't forget, if your kids don't understand the story, don't be afraid to teach them a little bit more about it. You can go deeper in the story if you have to until they fully understand it. That way, this lesson makes the most sense. Thank you guys so much for the way that you serve week in and week out. I won't be here this week, but I, when we get back, it'll be the 28th, and I will see you then. Have an amazing weekend. Thanks.